Hey everyone, and welcome to the special episode of Matthew Klein Edits Your Photos. A while back, I asked you guys to submit your best photos, and I received so many unique entries. Let's take a look and see what we got. So as you guys can see, we got so many unique photos. We got night photos, Disney Castle, lawn exposure at night. Um, this is abroad in Ireland. Um, just so many, this is in Bali, I think. So, so many unique photos. So let's just kind of go through. I am using Adobe Lightroom to edit, in case you were wondering. Adobe Lightroom is available on Mac, PC, iPhone, and on iPad. So no matter where you are, you should be able to get the app if you'd like to get it yourself. Um, just a full disclaimer, Adobe Lightroom is a paid only app on Mac and PC. I believe it is free on your phone or your iPad. I mean, at least I have it on my phone and iPad and I don't pay, so I think it's free for that. Um, but if you have it on your Mac or your PC, you will have to pay for the app. Otherwise, there's a lot of great alternatives out there, um, which I will have a list of alternatives pop up on the screen right now. So all right guys, let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start off with this photo right here. Sorry, let me go back. This photo right here, it was submitted by Jasmine Cauley. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Very nice photo, Jasmine. Uh, so we're gonna go into the develop menu and see what we got. Um, so first off, I noticed we really don't need this part of the photo up here in the top of the screen. So we're gonna start off and just go and crop the photo. And that's sometimes what I like to do first, is just kind of crop the photo and what do we wanna see in the photo? What don't we need? So that looks pretty good like that. Um, and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly fix the image because it's slightly taken at an angle and you know, I do the same thing too. So I think that looks a little better. So let's check that out, boom. I already like that. So if we keep on going, next thing I wanna do is I wanna slightly turn down the yellows because it is taken at night, so those yellow fluorescent lights always um, kinda dominate the image. So if we go right now, we can just bring out a little more blue, and that looks about good right there. Um, just going down, since the photo was taken at night, there's a little too much contrast, so we're gonna turn that down just a couple. Um, the highlights again we're gonna want to bring down I'll oh, see that see that see that's an instance of way too much let's just go to like there um, whites we're gonna slightly bring down as well shadows we're gonna bring up because we're gonna bring out those shadows stuff that's hidden in the image um, here's another example if we go too far like that then you see we're starting to get kind of that um, so let me zoom in we're starting to get kind of that grain that pixel which we don't want um, so if we zoom back out let's go like there, that looks pretty good, I think. So let's take a look at the before and the after. So you can see, um, there's not that much of a dif difference. Again, Jasmine, this is a really good photo. Um, I didn't even have to do that much with this photo. This is just a cool night photo. You were out on the city streets, you saw it, you snapped it, and that's really what counts. Um, so, great job, Jasmine. Um, continuing on, let's choose our next photo. So let's kind of go into the develop menu and see what we're gonna do. Um, so the first thing I already noticed is there's a slight angle on the photo. So let's see if auto picks it up. Auto kind of does. So sometimes you can just use auto, which is nice, um, but it's not always exact. So sometimes you have to fine tune that. But other than that, um, I think what we have of the photo is good. I wanna keep the crowd and stuff like that. So let's just see. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. Um, so here the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to really bring out those colors. Uh, this is a little too much. Sometimes I would love to put it up that much, but um, we'll just bring it up a little. There we go. Uh, saturation, we're not going to want to mess with too much on this photo. Uh, the dehaze tool again, uh, no, don't like that. Um, dehaze tool, uh, we are going to slightly burn up again because I said I like to do that. Uh, this photo, I'm going to turn the clarity down just a little on this photo because I'm already starting to see a little um, pixelation in this uh, little butterfly. Is that up there? I don't know what that is. Um, so we are going to turn that tool down just a little. Um, the blacks, I would love to bring up the blacks a little in this photo, but I'm afraid we're going to get too much pixelation. So I'm just going to do it a little. Um, shadows, we are gonna bring up again because the photo was taken at night, so we wanna recover that hidden detail in the shadows. Uh, highlights, see there's what happens if you bring it up too much, you ruin the photo. Um, highlights, we're gonna turn down just a little. Contrast, we are going to, see here's an instance of, I gotta make a decision, what do I wanna do? 
So I could turn it down slightly, which will, then we might get some pixelation, or I could turn it up, but we do lose a little of those shadows. So this is something I'm often faced with. Um, I'm gonna just turn it down a little. Um, in terms of the actual blues and yellows, those are pretty good. Um, we could adjust it slightly if we wanted. I really don't like a yellowy image on this one. Sometimes I kind of like that yellow tint, um, especially in video clips, I really like doing that when it's cloudy out. Um, but this photo, I'm not liking that yellow tint. Um, I'm gonna wanna bring out the purples a little though, kind of messing with this tool. So I think that looks pretty good there. Um, Let's see, reds, we could, we could use a little more red in this photo. You know, the last photo had too much red, but here we, we could bring out, you, you can really see it in the eyes of that um, butterfly, uh, if we bring out the red. So let's really bring out the reds. Also those aqua, where, where's the aqua? Here it is. Uh, you can see we have a lot of that on the castle. Um, so we could make that whole thing white if we wanted, um, which we don't really want to do that. Let's turn that down a little, actually. Uh, the blues here, Oh, so we could make it white. That'd be kind of cool, a cloud of white mist. Um, but let's just turn that down a little. I thought that was a little too much, a little too overpowering. Um, and then the greens, let's just bring those up just a little bit. So I think that looks pretty good right there. Um, again, really good photo, Mike. Didn't have to do much here. Uh, so let's just take a look at the before and the after. So you can see there are some um, differences, especially with the shadows. Um, we just kind of brought out the colors a little more. Again, we cropped out and fixed the angling on some of that. And we just, I don't know, I, this is, again, this photo didn't really need too much work. Again, great shot. Um, so let's kind of go back and see our next photo that we're gonna do. Um, Let's do something different. Let's do, uh, let's do this photo right here. Uh, Star of Rock, I love doing Star of Rock photos. I think this was taken by, uh, yeah it is, Taya Lamboli, great photo Taya. Um, if you guys haven't checked out, Taya has a photography page. I'll put it on the screen right now. It's photography by Taya Lamboli. You should totally check that out on Facebook. She does a lot of really cool stuff. She just did um, some photos of the fireworks um, from the 4th, because when I'm recording this, it's the day after the 4th, so. Um, you should check those out, um, but she does a lot of cool stuff. She does a lot of stuff at Star Rock, a lot of stuff in the area. Um, so yeah, definitely take a look at that. But let's see, take us photo right here. So you can see we're already getting some warnings here because of the histogram and the overexposure. Um, so first what we're gonna wanna do is, sometimes with a photo, I like to add a profile or a preset, or it's commonly referred to as a filter. So let's see if there's any good ones that I have downloaded. Um, not really liking too many of these, to be honest, for this photo. Um, they're really just not, you know, sometimes I like Thousand Oaks when you have that wooden stuff, but I'm really not liking any of these. This Blue Shadows one, I don't know. I don't like how it turns a water blue, but I like the color of the rock. Um, all right, let, let's try the blue shadows one and we, we might want to go and mess with this later. Um, so, all right, first, um, I like the photo. Not sure whether or not I want to crop out these people here in the corner. Let's zoom in and see. Um, uh, they're just kind of standing there. I don't know, I mean, they're not really adding to the photo. I mean, it shows people are there, but I don't think it was planned. So I think I am gonna wanna crop out those people. Um, to do that, there's really, we are gonna kinda have to change the, um, okay, so this is a perfect example. Could not straighten this photo automatically. So here I can tell this photo slightly off, um, but Lightroom can't fix it automatically. Just slightly, I think that looks good. So let's close out of this. So here, um, let me go back to this really quickly. So the reason why I'm leaving a lot of this rock on the right, first of all, I like having the rock on the right, but second of all, um, we're putting our subject kind of here on these lines, and the subject here is the waterfall. So that is essentially what is just kind of a general rule in photography, and I like to do that a lot, um, rule of thirds. So it's nice to kind of do that. So let's put that there. That looks pretty good like that. Again, 
we're just gonna wanna dehaze. So this is one where you can kind of have some fun with the dehaze tool. I love the dehaze tool that I was saying. Uh, so let's turn the dehaze pretty high up. Um, highlights are a little overexposed, so we're gonna wanna bring those down. Same with the whites. Whites kind of go with highlights generally. I know we're having an issue with that color of the water, so we're gonna see if we can fix it later. Um, if not, we're gonna have to kind of restart, which is okay, because honestly, that happens all the time. Uh, color the water, let's see if we can fix that, to be honest. So if I do this correctly with the blues and the hues, I should be able to fix the water. Um, no, that does not look good, that just looks weird, to be honest. So that looks a little better, I mean, it's still a little, here we go, here we go, here's what I wanted. So here, the water's a little too white right there. Um, so it looks pretty good like that. Uh, that looks pretty good. Just kind of making some fine adjustments right now. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, um, again, I am noticing a little noise, so we're going to turn up the noise reduction a little right here. Uh, sharpening, we're going to turn down because I don't want any that noise coming back in the photo. We already have the highlights and the whites all the way down. We do still have a little um, exposure issue going on. Uh, so we do have a little issue going on up there, so we are gonna wanna add just a little mask. Um, so we're just gonna use a radial mask here. So if I just kinda drag that up, um, we're gonna wanna invert the mask. Let's turn the highlights all the way down. Um, so you guys can see it does make a little bit of a difference. We can't go too much um, because otherwise it looks just gray and a little weird to be honest. I'm just kind of messing with some stuff right now. Let's see if we can. I like that. I think that turned out really well. So let's take a look at actually I think my angling is still off a little and that's something you got to just always keep checking is that horizon level of what is level, what is not. I actually think that might be more level. I actually do. I don't know why I thought it was the other way before. Uh, so let's take a look at the before and the after. So wow, what a difference here on this photo. It was again, it was, we started off, um, again, we'll just look through it really quickly. We started off with that filter and I wasn't feeling it at first, but I really liked the color of the rock. And then I was able to go through and then last second I was able to change the um, hue and the luminance of the water. So because of that, we made it look normal, or slightly normal at least. And I mean, with photos, you can have some fun with it. Sometimes you want it to look completely normal and sometimes you want to do maybe a little creative or experimental photography, and that's totally okay. I like doing a lot of that stuff. Um, this is a photo here where before, if I was getting ready to post this photo, I would take this um, small section up here that was overexposed and I'd probably throw it into another app such as Photoshop or something like that and I would likely change the sky to like kind of blue, maybe add some like clouds behind it. Um, just because it's a nice blue sunny day. Um, so this is something I would definitely do here, but otherwise, um, great capture, Taya. I really enjoyed editing this photo. All right, uh, so next photo, let's do something. All right, so we've done a couple landscapes. Let's do something with some people in it. Uh, we're switching it up again. Um, let's see, let's do, I don't know, there's a lot of good entries to be honest. Um, let's do this one. Let's do this one. So uh, this photo right here was submitted by Randy Turf Tie. Great photo, Randy. Um, I don't know if this is your anniversary or vacation or something like that. Um, looks like we're probably going on vacation soon. At the end of uh, July, I'm going to Gulf Shores, Alabama with my cousins, so that's always fun. Um, here, very nice photo. This is a photo where I would love to apply a slight preset, but I don't think I have the one that I want in here. No, I don't. So we're not going to do that. Um, here again, we're going to turn up that the heat. So this is a photo again We got to be careful because if we turn it up too much We're gonna get this weird stuff in the blue clouds over here, which just looks kind of weird um, So we can just go a little I'm already noticing some grain. So here we might need to turn it up quite a bit on noise reduction um, Let's turn the shadows up a little uh, blacks can go down a little. Highlights, normally your highlights, you wanna kinda turn them down um, because stuff's always slightly overexposed in my opinion. Um, since we turn the luminance down, we can turn the clarity up a little, vibrance up a little. 
contrast. Let's turn it down just so you can see the faces a little better. And we can expose it a little more if we want. So this photo, we didn't need too much either. Um, the crop, I think it's pretty good. It's nice, we don't even need to mess with that on this photo. So let's take a look before and after. So just some slight differences, really didn't need to do too much here. All right, so next photo, let's do this one right here. I believe this is in Ireland um, at the Cliffs of Mohair. I was there. Um, this was, yeah, Austin Prevalinski, great. Um, a photo Austin. I mean, obviously you didn't take it because you're in it, um, but maybe you did. Maybe you had a tripod set up. Um, but here, let's, I'm going to have some fun with this one. So this is one where I would love to apply this one right here, the warm shadows. I think that one looks the best. The other option is we go blue shadows again, which could look Decent. Yeah, let's go blue shadows, actually. That's a good one that I like to download. Again, these presets, guys, or these profiles, filters, whatever you call them. Um, depending on what app you use and stuff, you can download, um, people make them online and you can download those. Um, so the haste tool, um, you guessed it, we're gonna wanna turn slightly up. We gotta watch those clouds though in the background. Um, shadows are gonna wanna slow, go slightly up. Photo's getting a little dark already. That's because of the filter. Um, Highlights, we can turn slightly down. I mean, it was a cloudy day that day. So again, noise reduction, we'll just turn up a little. Um, the photo is looking a little yellow, and that's again, because the profile it makes up just a little yellow. So we're gonna wanna just, let's just turn that to one on blue. I know you're probably thinking negative one, does that really make a difference? Yes, it does. Um, Believe me, it does. Uh, crop, there is a little of the top photo that I don't really want. Um, the subjects, him and the cliff, we really don't need that top. Um, let's see what the auto angling tool says. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, so now we got a little too much of the bottom. Now, let's try this. Yeah, I like that. Looks pretty good. All right, and then let's um, take it and I really kind of want to make a little less blue, to be honest. There we go. So let's just turn those blues down. We could turn them up, but I really don't like that for this photo. Let's just turn them down a little. I think those yellows we can turn down a little. We gotta keep an eye on his face. We don't want that to be overexposed. So yeah, let's take a look. Uh, this one turned out pretty well, uh, before and after. So it's definitely a little more blue, which I was kind of going for. Um, but I mean, here you can just see if we zoom in right here um, to the top, I mean, it was just kind of white and boring. And here we just added kind of more of that blue. Um, yeah, it kind of looked like the thunderstorms coming in. Um, but I, 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 I like the style um, and I like the way this turned out. We also kind of changed the grass. Um, we just gave it a little more kind of adventure, travel feel. Um, right here it's green, here it's just kind of a little more um, almost fall, if you want to say that. So, all right, and that's a wrap. I'd like to thank everyone who submitted a photo. They were great submissions. Sorry I wasn't able to get to every single photo. It's just that they all take time and I have other videos to make as well. Um, let me know if you guys like this. Let me know your thoughts on it. Um, kind of put down in the comments down below um, if you guys like the series, if you want me to do it again. You'll also find a Dropbox link where you can download the photos that I edited um, should you want your photo that you submitted. Thanks guys and have a great day. Bye.